Okay, let's talk a little bit about topology. So we're going to start with a definition. This is going to be the definition of a topology. And we're going to start with the um, general definition of a topology. So we'll start by letting, say, capital X be a set. So capital X is a set, and tau, so I'm going to use a Greek letter here, a collection of subsets of capital X. Capital X. Then we say the collection tau is called a topology for x. provided tau satisfies the following conditions. So provided tau satisfies the following. You can call them axioms or conditions or criteria. I'll just say satisfies the following. So one, so the first condition uh, is that the empty set and capital X are elements of tau. So the empty set and capital X are elements of tau. So that is the first condition that we require. The second condition is that if you have two elements in tau, the intersection of those elements is also in tau. Now, um, some textbooks and some authors uh, require that you have a finite set, uh, but you can easily show that that will follow uh, from our definition uh, using mathematical induction. So let's just stick with two. So if, say, um, O sub 1 is in tau and O sub 2 is in tau, then O sub 1 intersected with O sub 2 is also an element of tau. Really, really nice. And the third condition is that if Say we have um, some arbitrary collection, O sub i, and uh, this is, is uh, a subset of tau. So each of these O sub i's is an element of tau. Then if we take the union of the O sub i's, uh, then this is also in tau. And this is just any union. It's not necessarily uh, finite. So um, it could be just any arbitrary collection. It doesn't have to be finite. So if we have these three conditions, then we say tau is a topology for x. So again, the empty set and capital X are in tau. Uh, if you have two elements in tau, the intersection is in tau. And if you have any number of uh, elements in tau, uh, then the union of those elements is also in tau. So what is this notion of open? So we define um, open sets uh, to be the elements of tau. So uh, all of the sets that you see in tau are actually the uh, open sets. So the elements of tau 
are called open sets. So if you wonder, okay, so what does it mean to be open? Well, it depends on tau. It, de it will depend on your topology. Each topology is different. Uh, open sets are defined differently in different topologies. Uh, but in general, you know, any uh, element of a topology is called an open set. So that's something I think that uh, sometimes people uh, get a little bit confused. All right, so let's keep going. Let's look at some simple examples of, of topologies. So let's look at our first example here. And let's look at a, a very simple case. We're going to let X be a set. So it's just uh, some set. And we're going to let uh, P of X, this is going to be the power set. So this is the power, this is the power set of X. And what this is, it's the collection of all subsets of X. So this is all subsets of X. So let me just do it here. This is all subsets of capital X, every single one, right, all of them. And uh, it turns out that this is going to be called um, the discrete topology. So this collection of subsets is a topology, okay, is a topology uh, for X. So this is your tau. Your tau is the power set of X and a topology for X because it satisfies all the conditions, right? It's all subsets of X. So the empty set and capital X are going to be in here because they're subsets of X. If you take any two subsets of X and you intersect them, it's certainly going to be a subset of X. And if you take any number of subsets of X, um, the union of those subsets is also going to be a subset. So it's very easy to see that it is a topology. So let's do another example of a topology. So this one's a little bit different. Uh, this time we're just going to say uh, X is a set. And then tau is going to be the empty set and capital X. Oh, and by the way, I didn't write it, but I said it. This one is called um, the discrete topology. So example one is the discrete topology. All right, so it's topology consisting of all subsets of X. So if you're a subset of X, you're an open set. So boom, super easy uh, to memorize. This one is like the opposite kind of, this one is called the trivial topology. So this is a topology on X. And this one is called the trivial topology. So trivial topology. So it's just X is a set, and then you just take, um, oh, uh, X, X, yes, X is any set, and you take this and you're good. All right. Let's look at another example. How about uh, this one? So X here is a non empty set. And let's take little a in capital X. And we're going to define tau as follows. So tau here is going to be. Uh, the empty set, the singleton set containing A, and the entire space. And this is a topology on capital X. So if it contains the empty set and it contains capital X, so that was um, the first condition, if you recall, it had to contain those two elements. Um, if you intersect any two elements here, you're going to get an element in the set. So, you know, empty with empty is going to be empty. If you intersect empty, em the empty set with any of these, it's the empty set. If you do something like this, um, you're just going to get this, which is still in tau. So any intersection of any two sets in here is in tau. And the union of anything in here is also in tau. So um, this is certainly going to be uh, a topology. All right, let's do another one. Uh, this is uh, a little bit harder. This one is uh, X is a set containing the following elements. It's just uh, A, B, C, D. And we're going to say tau is the collection of sets, uh, the singleton set containing A, 
uh, the set containing A and B, and then the set containing A and C, and then the set containing A, B, and C. And of course, we still need two more special sets. Uh, we need the whole space, right? That's the first condition and the empty sets. We do need both of those. And uh, this is a topology for X as well. So this is also uh, a topology for X. And you can check uh, all three conditions if you wanted to. You would, you would have to write it out. It would take a lot more work. You could do it mentally, but you know, if you listed it out, it would take some time uh, to verify it all. Let's look at another one. How about something like uh, this? Uh, let's let x be a set of real numbers. So this is a, x is a set of real numbers. And we're going to let tau be equal to, whoops, the set containing the empty set union so tau contains the empty set and then we have x set minus capital C where C is a countable subset of x and this is actually a topology for x. And this would also would require uh, a little bit of you know verification, as would this example here. I think these two here, you'd have to actually go through it and justify it. So um, I think that's good for this video, just a really quick intro video to introduce you to uh, some really basic um, you know topologies. And hopefully you just get you know the definition from this, right? So that's the most important thing. You know, what does it mean to be a topology? It means that the empty set and the whole space are open. In other words, they're in your in your tau, which is your topology. Um, the intersection of any two elements in tau is also in tau. And of course, this can be extended to a finite number. And the union of any number of uh, elements of tau is also in tau. And when I say any number, again, this doesn't have to be finite, whereas condition two does. So basically, you need um, that it's uh, closed under you know, tau is closed under finite intersections and arbitrary unions. It's a really short way of saying it. Um, hopefully, this video uh, has been helpful in some way. Good luck to you. Take care.